to my channel. I'm the Soul Teacher. Today I'm going to do your August readings. Um, I'm sorry I've been a bit busy the last few weeks so I, I have not been able to get any readings out. Hopefully things are a bit calmer from now on. <laughs> right? So I'll try to get some more readings out for you again on a weekly basis. I've actually been thinking about um, doing like first thing in the morning before I start doing anything else, doing a quick reading for the day. So if you're interested in that, please reply in the comments below and we'll see. So Aries, let's see what your um, energy is going to be overall for the month of August. We have the Lion's Gate portal on the 8th. Oh my goodness. We have the Lion's Gate portal on the 8th um, and the portal opens around about the 26th of July. Um, please don't quote me on that, I'm not quite sure. But yes, so thank you Spirit and Angels for your guidance. Please can we have overall energies for Aries for the month of August please. Okay, boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries Aries? Yes, that is something that I have noticed in, in my own life the past few weeks is boundaries are quite important and honestly I have heard the phrase no is a complete sentence so many times the last few weeks. It's crazy. Thank you spirits and angels for your guidance. Please can we have one ascended master that Aries can work with in the month of August please. One ascended master that Aries can work with in the month of August. Come on. Odin, psychic insight. Your third eye is open. See truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. Now the Lion's Gate portal is a Syrian portal so we get um, light codes and activations and new energies from from Sirius um, directly so that's quite interesting um, because the, Sir the Syrian energy is very psychic and very intuitive by itself so that should be quite interesting to see what you guys are going with this month Aries um, specifically with boundaries also what I'm getting from this um, is when when you don't set serious boundaries for yourself and for others in your life um, you get so entangled in life and in everyday stuff believe me I have been entangled in everyday stuff for the last few weeks it's been crazy and hectic so when when you're in that energy of the craziness and the hecticness of everything um, you tend to not look so much inwards you don't um you don't you don't seem to follow your intuition as much you're just trying to get through these thick and 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 heavy energies just you know i need to get these done i need to get these done and then you don't you you kind of almost forget about your psychicness yes that's that's something that i've been struggling with for the past few weeks so yeah let's see where this goes aries thank you spirit and angels for your guidance, please, can we have six cards for Aries for the month of August? What is it that Aries need to know? And this is a general reading, so it's for love, career, I'm not going to take all of those, love, career, finances, friendships, relationships, home life, family life, however it resonates with you. Okay, let's see guys base chakra awareness interesting that it's base chakra is one awareness is immediately brought into the crown chakra and it's also a one heart chakra wow that's awesome heartache and loss disruption new beginnings that's beautiful aries don't worry about the bottom row. I'll explain everything as we go along. Um, I just want to get a few more cards on this. My beloved Arcanum deck. 
I absolutely love, love, love this deck. Oh, just look at that, guys. Two of cups. That's what you want to see, right? Absolutely love this deck. Okay, just want to get a few more cards for each of these so we can just see a whole picture on this. Again, we have two cards for the base chakra card, please. Why is the base chakra card here? Oh, guys! Wow! Four of ones! Whoops! Nope, that's a spell. Not taking a spell. Just one more card for base chakra, please. Why is the base chakra card here? I wanted to take that card and then it's like, spread goes, no, you're not taking it. One more card for base chakra, please. Ooh, we've got two, okay. Yeah, it's two, all right, I'll take them. Can we have what? two cards for awareness, please? Can we have two cards for awareness? Why is awareness here? Wow, Ace of Wands, that's gorgeous. One more card for awareness, please. Oh, we've got, oh, goodness, guys. Wow, okay. Can we have two cards for a heart chakra, please? Or how many ever you think is best, spirit? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay. Uh, sometimes it's just, you know, you just gotta laugh. Why is heartache and lust here, please? Oh, yo, I, I can already see the picture, guys, and it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Yeah, definitely. Oh, look at that. Why is disruption here, please? Disruption, which is 16, which goes to a seven, which is the number of divinity. King of Swords, oh yeah. Oh, I love this, guys. This is beautiful. Okay, we've got two there. Why is New Beginnings here, please? Can we have two cards on New Beginnings? Okay, we've got three. Great. Okay, guys. So, let's get into this, shall we? Okay. So the first card's out, you've got the base chakra. Base chakra, this is where we feel safe, um, where we process our, um, our sexuality, where we process our financial um, security, our emotional security. This is basically your survival. This is, this is the survival, survival chakra. So what we see here is, I see the Five of Cups, which is, gosh, guys, hard I can loss. This is what the Five of Cups is. It's, it's, it's sadness about the past, sadness about the emotional loss of the past. But this is done now. It's the death card is the end of a situation. The sadness and loss is over now, which brings you to the 1111 card in the tarot, four of wands, happiness, um, family life, the twin flame card, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then with, with this heart I can last, this is the nine of swords. You are so done with this, Aries, you're so done. You are ready to have the balance, to have the balance brought back into your life. Um, with this, you can either deal with a Scorpio or this is this is Sagittarius energy. Um, I don't normally work too much with the specific signs, but sometimes people actually get confirmations or whatever about this. So um, yeah, I think Aries, you are so done with heartache and loss. You're you're, you're ready for your, for your for your new start, for your new beginning, for your happiness. You are so ready for it. Then awareness. Awareness goes straight to the crown chakra. Now, when you are aware, then you get um, intuitive thoughts from the universe. The universe speaks to you, spirit speaks to you, guides you, leads you to the place where you're supposed to be. That's where the awareness comes from. And look at this, it's the hanged man. Now the hanged man, the energy with this is, this guy is hanging around because he's busy sorting himself out. He's busy getting to the point where he's he can be enlightened, where he can see, um, what he needed to change inside of him and changes it then to then emerge as the king of wands now the king of wands is a very passionate um, very um, 
uh, actionable figure, if I can put it that way. This guy knows what he wants and he's doing whatever he needs to get it. That's what the king of, of wands is. And look at the strength card that came out. These three came out together. So with the awareness that comes in for you this month, Aries, through probably the Lionsgate portal, because we specifically asked for that too, you're going to gain enlightenment on your way forward. You're going to gain the strength to become the king of wands that you're supposed to be. And this is all going to lead you to your brand new passionate beginning, your ace of wands. How gorgeous is that? And then we, when we look at the card right beneath it, there needed to be disruption in your life. It needed to happen because if nothing is disrupted, if nothing, if nothing bothers you, you won't need to change anything, right? So your life had to be disrupted in order for you to get to this place where you can now become the king of swords. Wow, guys, you've got two kings here, hey? So this is a guy who is passionate and who's taking the action to get to where he wants to go. And this guy, this guy, he has cut out the people in his life that doesn't serve anymore. You have been through, there's the nine of swords. You've gone through the 10 of swords. It's like, screw this. This, this is not serving me anymore. This is old energy. I am moving towards my new energy. And this guy knows exactly what it is that he wants. See, he doesn't fight anymore. He doesn't need to. When you look at the Queen of Swords um, energy, it, it's, it's normally a very, um, uh, it's, it's a defensive action that this queen takes. This guy is not, he's not on defense at all. He's just like walking the walk because I am now done with this. And you've worked really, really, really hard. But this disruption, and look, it's the Eight of Swords and this is a 16. If you half this, then it's, then it's also eight. So. This Eight of Swords, you've been stuck in your mind for so long. And that's where this King of Wands come in because you, you needed your passion to be ignited here so that you can come out of this Eight of Swords energy. You worked very hard to get to your King of Swords energy. And this leads you to being two kings here, guys. This is really, really cool. Okay, let's see. Your next card is the Heart Chakra. So obviously, Whenever this guy comes in with the passionate and the ace of wands, obviously your heart chakra is going to open, right? Because, you know, that's where passion comes from. So this is the heart chakra. The cards that came with it is the page of pentacles, the page of swords and the three of cups. Now the pages, this might be, pages are messengers, um, but it's also new beginnings. Um, it can be, um, this can be a, a brand new opportunity, um, maybe in your career or in your love life. Um, this, this represents stability. This represents what it is, what, whatever you want to, to come into the, the, the earthly realms, your manifestations. This, yes, that's what I want to say. This is a tangible manifestation coming into your life. This, this, Sword and swords energy is like really really fast. It's it's a very fast fast incoming message or fast incoming action or fast incoming proposal or offer or whatever and this leads you to celebrations three of cups and with the heart chakra here It's hard to not think of romance, right? So then we get to our new beginnings. So all of this, all of this have led to your new beginning. Um, this, this, is, this is the wounded warrior. You have worked so damn hard to get where you are. You're done, you're finished, you're tired. You're just like, can I just get to my 10 of cups now, please? Oh, and we've got the Queen of Cups here. Obviously, with the Heart Chakra, this 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 is bound to come out because it's it's what you feel, right? And the universe has taken the wheel to get you to this point, Aries. So, the Wounded Warrior, yeah. Sorry, guys, I'm just going to take my bird out because she she can go like really loud. Hold on a second. Sorry about that, guys. I love my bird to death. She's the most beautiful thing. It's a little canary. And she brings in the most wondrous sounds, but sometimes she can just get a bit much. So anyway, we were saying this wounded warrior can now go to the, to the back. The universe has taken the wheel 
it's brought you it's brought you from your eight of swords from stuck being stuck in your mind from the heartache and loss from your um your disruptions and it's taken you into your heart chakra which brought out the queen of cups and into your brand new beginning see how beautiful is this to bring you back to the overall energies that we we have here for the month you can never you can never change something or get out of a cycle if you don't if you don't put up healthy boundaries this is to me in this reading this is a very important point is you need to set up boundaries healthy boundaries in your life so that you can get the awareness the intuition from the universe that you need to lead you you need to be able to say to the universe okay i surrender and it's fine Just universe please take the wheel um that's what I'm getting for you guys, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I just want to draw you a card of advice for the month, and also um, an Angel's Answers card. Thank you, Spirit and Angels. Can we please have some advice for Aries for the month of August, please? Can we have advice for Aries for the month of August? What is it that Aries need to look at to go through this month of August the way we should? Spiritual abundance. Thank you, angels, for blessing me with infinite abundance. So, guys, that's what you need to keep your focus on, is on spiritual abundance, right? Because if you're spiritually abundant, then every other place in your life, will be abundant as well let's get one angels angel answers card thank you angels for your guidance please can we have one card of advice for aries for the month of august please one card of advice for aries for the month of august oh my goodness there we go with the unruly cards again <laughs> No need to worry, Aries. No need to worry. Everything is going to work out beautifully as long as you allow the universe to take the wheel. So Aries, happy Lionsgate portal to you guys. I hope this month is absolutely beautifully abundant. And um, yes, we will talk again soon.